Hello viewers, you welcome back once again to my channel and today I want to show you how you can easily post a buy or sell ad on Binance P2P platform. How you can easily create or set up your buy or sell ad on Binance P2P session. But before we go straight to the class, before I will show you this, you have to understand there are some basic requirements that Binance has actually provided that you must meet before you can actually be able to do what post a buy or sell ad on Binance P2P. And one of those requirements is that you must be a verified Binance merchant. So you must be verified by Binance as their merchant. And let me show you what it means to be a verified merchant on Binance. So when you come to your Binance and log in, um, you will see this, uh, the P2P session here. So you have to go to P2P. When you click on this P2P session, uh, it will take you to your P2P platform. Okay, let me, let me search and, okay, I've not seen any, let me search. Okay, here. Yeah. Now, if you come to this P2P session, you will see that some persons are having this good marked icon. You see this man is also having this icon and uh, if you come to this person you see that this person is not having it so that means that this person is not a verified merchant by binance binance have not verified him as a merchant on their website or on this platform but you can see this one is a verify you can see this one is a verify uh, merchant so if you scroll down you will see a lot of them and those that are not also verify merchant although before you become a verify merchant uh, there is also a requirement that you must meet and there is a threshold that you must have in your wallet before you can actually become a verify binance merchant so this is what it means to be a verify merchant on binance so let's go back to um the requirement so that i will show you the remaining requirement that you must meet before you can be able to post your Add. So if you are a merchant P2P verified by Binance, you have you are entitled to post your ad. But if not, then as a user, you are also a verified user. If you are a verified user by merchant, what does it mean to be a verified user? It simply means that you must have completed your KYC. You must have completed your KYC by uploading your uh, means of identity identification, your um, address, linking your number and your email. You must have completed all this for you to become a verified user. So as a verified user, you must meet all the following requirement one is that you your account must be registered more than 30 years so you must have been registered on binance for more than 30 days as a verified user who is not a verified merchant please get it right there is difference between a verified merchant and a verified user so as a verified user you must have registered with binance for more than 30 days this that is one of the requirements then the second one is that you must complete your identity verification and enable at least one two-factor authentication such as google authentication or it could also be full number authentication or email authentication so you must have completed your um identity verification that is you must have uploaded your means of identity and it must have been approved before you can also be able to post ad on by now so the next one um is that the number of completed p2p order must be greater than 20. so you must have been buying and selling in p2p and the number of orders you must have done there or accomplished there or completed must be greater than 20. that is another requirement that's the third requirement then the fourth one is that 30 day p2p order completion rate must be greater than 80 percent so as you keep trading as you keep trading for a period of one month your um your rate yeah your rating must be greater than 80 percent that is one and it's not hard once you you buy and sell your rating keep increasing and before one month it, there is no way it will not be more than 80 percent then the last but not the least is that the number of unique trading counterpart must be greater than 10. What does this mean? This simply means that you must have um, completed transaction with more than 10 persons. So if you have been doing transaction with one person or two or three persons, 
is not accepted so you must have done um, more transaction with more than 10 persons so if you have completed all these requirements then you cannot be able to do what to post your sell or buy ad on binance and can even get it done in a day so having seen the requirement that you need before you can be able to post your buy or sell ad we'll go straight so that we'll show you how you can actually post your buy or sell ad on binance p2p session so we'll come back to binance and once we're on binance we will now go to our p2p session click on p2p and um, here on p2p session when you come under this place you will see home you will see orders you will see ads and you will see profile so these are the four things you will see in this place so all you just need to do is to go to the ad and click on it once you click on add it will open up where you need to um, set up your ad if you watch these are um, my already ad ones I actually set up before now this is a sell ad why this one is a buy ad which I actually set up before now so what we are going to be doing is that we are going to set up a new one from scratch so that you will see it so what do you need to do is you come to this plus icon and click on it once I click on it it's open up so hit this is where you have to set up your ad and under this place they are going to take us to um three simple stage stage one two and three before we can be able to accomplish so when you come below you will see buy and you will see sell so we are going to be setting up a buy ad first a buy ad so which is this place that we are going to be using so you click on it is already here so the next thing you need to do is to select your assets which assets do you want to buy you can see list of coins that you can buy so um for now we are going to be using usdt and it's the usdt that we want to buy then you set your fiat currency your fiat currency is your native currency that you are buying with for me i'm a nigerian so i'm going to be using Nigeria currency which is NGN so I'm going to change it to NGN as my fiat currency then here you have um, fixed price that is under the price type then you have floating price I'm going to explain this to what it means um, the fixed price which is this one simply means a fixed amount of money that you want to buy with and this fixed amount it's it's fixed just as the name implies is fixed so whether you set up this ad and there is an increase in the price of the coin you want to buy or there is a decrease in the price of coin you want to buy it doesn't affect you your price still remains your price but when you go for the floating price this simply means that it changes over time depending on the fluctuation of the price of coin you are buying at the market so if you go for fluctuate uh, floating price if by any reason the price of the coin you want to buy increase then the price will also increase the price at which you want to buy will definitely by default increase and if the price of the coin you want to buy decrease the price at which you also want to buy will also decrease so that is the two so for me i'm going for fist i want it to be fist i don't need uh, floating so under this place under the fist you can see by default is already on 433.68 and that is what the lowest uh, price margin why the highest price order is this so this is the highest price order why this is the uh, lowest price order so all i'm going to do here is to set up my own price that i want to buy now i can say that uh, the fixed price i want to buy one usdt since they are selling uh, the highest price order here is 731 so i can set up my own fixed price to be seven um let's say two let me just make it seven two nine so or let me make it seven two eight that is what i want to buy by usdt so once i've been able to set up this and i will come to this place and click on next 
so that it will take us to the next session now you can see that we are now we have moved from the first one and it has taken us to the second one so we are in the second one now and under this place you have to put the total usdt you want to buy and let me say i want to buy 100 usdt so this 100 usdt will be giving me um 72,800 in naira so let me point it so that you will see it this 100 years if you come to this place you see how much it will be in ng and uh, which is your naira so this 100 is equal to 72 800 and um, my other limit um is that uh, i want to buy from um not 5000 maybe you can buy from 5000 so let me explain the other limit simply means the limit at which you want to buy is it from 5000 or 20,000 or 10,000. I can say um, my other limit should be, let me make it, um, let me make it 10,000. Let me make it 10,000. And the highest should be 75,000. Let me make it and leave it like that. So I will come back to method of payment. Which method of payment do I use? Bank transfer. Yes, I want to pay to using bank transfer if you are not comfortable with that you can come to add um, payment method and click on it when you click on it will show you other different method that you can use so you can actually select a specific bank that you want them uh, to pay to but then i'm going to just leave it on on bank transfer and payment limits if you come to the next one which is this payment payment time limit so this is simply the time frame at which i'm supposed to pay for the coin and buying the time frame and when you click on it we see different time frame we see um 15 minutes we see 30 minutes we see 45 minutes so 15 minutes is an id one is i'm um, okay by that so i will simply come again and click on next so that i will go to the last stage of the setting up of this um add and before we go there let me show you something if you watch estimated fee here this is the fee binance will be charging you for this um for this transaction you want to do so they will be charging you 0 0.10 usdt so i will click on next so once i click on next uh if you come to you will see that it has taken us to sorry if you click on let me show you it you see that it has taken on to the last stage it has taken on to the last stage so all i got to do here is to fill the remaining one so my terms and condition if you watch here you see terms although it's optional if you want to set it so mine is just very simple go ahead and pay i'm online no third party payment please so this is my own terms. Don't pay. I don't pay with. I don't pay into any third party account. The account I'm paying must be the account name on that part. Binance P2P. So this one is um, auto reply. Once anybody want to do transaction with me, the message that will be automatically sent to the person. I also set it to be the same. I say go ahead and pay. I am online. No third party payment, please. So this is my own terms and condition. So if you come to the last, um, the next side where you have um, counterpart condition. So this is the person that I want to transact with. What are the conditions I want to put? And if you watch by default, is on already registered zero days. You can set it zero. The number of days you want the person to have registered. You can set it the no um uh, amount of coin the person is holding but i don't actually need all these ones it should be by default i don't want to streamline it so i check everything and under this place you see online and offline so you see offline now publish manually later so i don't want to publish this thing immediately i want it to be published later so once i have checked this all i have to do is to click on post add once i click on post add 
bam you can see it successfully posted your ad has been published and is now visible to other users once it goes online please pay attention to prompts for new orders so this ad has been posted but yet is not online if i want it we i can save down so if you come here now you can see the order here look at it here and you can see that it is offline so if i want it to go online i'll just simply um come to this place and toggle this bottle on once i toggle it on uh, this ad will be online so one good thing about this posting of your own ad is that you can determine the price you want to buy even if they are selling a higher price you can decide on how much you want to buy let me show you what i mean i'll go back to p2p you see that um, people here are selling at the this person is selling at the rate of seven three two now i can decide that i set up my own ad that i want to buy at the rate of um instead of buying at the rate of seven three two i want to buy at the rate of seven two nine or seven two eight and yet i will still see people that i will buy from so that is one good thing but if you cannot be able to post ad that means you don't have option to decide on the price you are buying meaning that you either buy whatever they are selling here because you don't have choice you don't have option so that is for that so but if um we want to go back again how to create a sell ad so we'll go back to our ad again now this time around we'll see come to this place and click on the plus sign once you click on it it open up here we are going to set up the ad but this time around now we are not going to be using a buy ad we want to post a sell ad let's assume we have bought our client we want to resell now all i need to do is to change it to sell i click on the sell side and it's on sell now so my asset is still usdt that is what i want to sell my fiat currency is in ngn because i'm from nigeria so i'll go back to price setting should be fixed and how much do i want to sell let's assume i bought at the rate of seven two nine so let me say i'm going to sell at the rate of seven three one which is currently what is what they are selling so once i seven three one once i set up this i'll go back to the click on next to take me to the second stage and uh, this second stage here uh, we are going to fill the total amount of um, usdt we are selling so we'll come to this place we are selling 100 usdt so i'm um, going to the other limit um they should buy from let's say so okay you can see this notification now it's saying that i have exceeded the number available meaning that i don't have up to this so that is why it's showing uh, so i will say i need from ten thousand naira so from ten thousand naira order so payment method is important for you to choose your payment method so once you come to this place where you set your payment method if you are not comfortable with it, this is the one i have already added before now so you can come to this place and click on add payment method once you click on add payment method you can see these are the various payment uh, method that i have actually added before now so i can decide to choose any of them and use it so but i'm going to leave it on the default one here and payment limit time is still going to be 15 minutes if you cannot be able to pay 15 minutes no problem we'll go move on to another person so once i've been set this up i'll go to next and um this cannot actually go because of the amount of this thing i have so once you go to next uh it will take you to the final stage where you complete it just as i completed it in the other previous one when we are doing a bad um buy ad this cannot go because i'm not having up to that uh, amount of usdt here that's why i cannot be able to see finish it and set it up but it doesn't take time again the only thing is to go to the next where you will now post 
the array will confirm um, your terms and condition put your terms and condition if you want to and then now publish the ad so this is how you can set up your ad how you can post your buy or sell ad on binance p2p so remember if you have not subscribed to this channel do where to click on that subscribe button turn on the bell notification icon so that whenever i release an awesome video you will be notified thanks for watching bye for now see you in our next video